By the time we'd made our way to the molten surface of Mustafar, it was apparent that Delso had been a busy little bug. All by his lonesome, he'd found a previously hidden droid factory, fired it up and cranked out his own private army of battle droids. Needless to say, this got the men of the 501st a little hot under the helmet, and not just because of all that lava. Truth be told, we'd all had our fill of those gearheads during the war, and we couldn't stomach the thought of going through another one. So we blew them up, blew up the droids, blew up the factory, damn near blew up the planet. All right, troops. Today we stamp out final remnants of the CIS. Eventually we'll be blowing up a hidden droid factory. But for now, we need to infiltrate and secure that nearby mining facility. Move them out. Take control of the lava observation room. of the walkway. Watch out for snipers! Keep moving! Sniper spotted at 2 o'clock! Collection base looks like a good place to make a stand. Capture it! What's that turret? we don't destroy today will come back to haunt us tomorrow. Wipe them out. These Geonosians have been working on a new Confederate infantry prototype. 
Destroy the schematics before they can use them to build a new droid army. bringing the other beacon. Go out and retrieve it. Central antenna. base and watch the fireworks. It's raining bugs! Kill them all! Watch out for bugs! Isor Delso has been defeated. Scratch one droid rebellion. Coming around. The destruction of the mining facility put an end to any thoughts of a second droid rebellion. For the first time in years, the man of the 501st could relax and get about the business of maintaining an empire rather than building one.